हेलो एंड वेलकम गायज सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कम्प्लीटेड और फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल रिकॉग्नीसन सिस्टम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्रूव आवर मॉडल परफॉर्मेंस इफ यू गाइज आर न्यू टू दिस वीडियो दैन प्लीज़ वॉच दिस प्ले लिस्ट फ्रॉम बिगनिंग हेयर वी आर गेटिंग आवर ट्रेनिंग एक्यूरेसी ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट एट्टी वन पॉइंट नाइन फोर परसेंट एंड वैलिडेशन एक्यूरेसी इज सिक्सटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव टू परसेंट इन माई वीडियो वी आर गेटिंग एक्यूरेसी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली एट्टी टू परसेंट एंड वैलिडेशन एक्यूरेसी ऑफ नाइन्टी टू परसेंट हेयर ऑन द सेम पैरामीटर आई हैव रन द मॉडल अगेन एंड हेयर आई एम गेटिंग दिस क्वाइट फ्लक्चुएशन इन द वैलिडेशन एक्यूरेसी सो इफ आई डू द विजुलाइजेशन दैन देयर ऑल्सो आई एम गेटिंग द ट्रेनिंग एक्यूरेसी विजुलाइजेशन समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड वैलिडेशन एक्यूरेसी विजुलाइजेशन इज़ वेरी फ्लक्चुएटिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू नंबर ऑफ एपक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू रिजोल्व दिस इशू सो दैट वी गेट ए स्मूदर कर्व वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू रिजोल्व दिस फ्लक्चुएशन विच इज़ हैपनिंग इन दिस वैलिडेशन एक्यूरेसी एंड ऑल्सो हेयर और ट्रेनिंग एक्यूरेसी इज ऑलमोस्ट एट्टी वन पॉइंट नाइन फोर परसेंट विच इज़ वेरी लो एक्चुअली दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अंडर फिटिंग इफ यू सी द इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ योर मॉडल इट्स इम्प्रूविंग फ्रॉम थ्री परसेंट टू फोर सेवन इलेवन इट्स नॉट इम्प्रूविंग आफ्टर एट्टी सो इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अंडर फिटिंग योर ट्रेनिंग एक्यूरेसी इज नॉट इम्प्रूविंग योर ट्रेनिंग लॉस इज नॉट डिक्रीजिंग हेयर ऑल्सो वैलिडेशन एक्यूरेसी इज फ्लक्चुएटिंग so if uh, you are stuck in such type of problem then you have to see two things see your training accuracy that is your training loss and see your validation loss if your training loss is not decreasing then what step you have to take if your training loss is not decreasing then it means you are in the problem of underfitting okay and if your validation loss is not decreasing and training loss is decreased then you are in the problem of overfitting because you are trying to fit each and every data points of your training set but it is not able to fit your validation set okay so you have two type of problem either it is underfitting or it is overfitting or maybe you will stuck in the one another type of problem which is overfitting with combination of underfitting sometimes your training loss is also not decreasing and validation loss is also not decreasing but here you are getting fluctuation in validation loss and training loss is not that much decreased in neural network if you are in the problem of underfitting then to resolve that problem make your neural network more deeper then it is able to fit each and every data point a deep neural network can solve the all the non linearity exist in the data point okay in this data set there is a lot of non linearity which is not able to solve by this neural network so to solve this problem we can uh, make our neural network more complex first of all let's see the architecture of our current neural network okay so right here model dot summary if you write this then you will get that uh, you have one convolution layer then max pooling then again convolution then again max pooling if you see here we have uh, added here one convolution layer which is of uh, 64 filters we are using here that is 64 kernel we are using to create 64 corresponding 64 feature map okay so that's why here if you see uh after applying convolution operation on 64 cross 64 images the size of image increase from uh, the, uh, from 64 to 62 cross 62 and this 64 another dimension is added which is creating 64 feature map okay so the bunch of feature map which we are creating after applying this 64 different type of filter we have created one another dimension and uh, it's actually the characteristic of your image what is the i have explained each and everything in that time when we when i am training and when i am writing this code that time i have explained how convolution operation works so we have applied this convolution operation then max pooling then again convolution then again max pooling and then we have uh, added some dropouts and after at last we are getting total trainable parameter as 1.649 almost 1.65 million parameter 
1.65 million parameter is not able to fit each and every data points of this data set okay and here i am getting the accuracy of uh, only 81.94 percent so to resolve this problem of underfitting we have to make our neural network more complex so what we can do here just i am trying to add more convolution layer first filter use as 32 and uh, use another filter so add here cnn dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot con 2d and in this use filters as filters as 32 and kernel size as 3 same and right here activation as relu okay use this here i am adding first layer i am making as by using 32 filter and again i am using 32 filter and here i am using 64 again use one more as 64 okay i am adding two convolution layer here so that we can understand more deeply the information of that image that's why i am creating two convolution layer with 32 filters and here also are creating two convolution layer with 64 filter okay just remove this dropout this will not work yeah we have done two convolution operation here and then we have done max pooling then we have again done two convolution operation then again max pooling we have to make more deeper neural network so use here neuron as 512 i'm making one another layer so copy this just copy paste here and use here 256 okay use here 256 and here add dropout okay to add dropout use cnn dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot dropout and use here 0.5 why we are writing this to avoid overfitting we are dropping some neuron to avoid overfitting let's run this again from here and here let's use adam optimizer okay if i do model dot summary then previously we are uh, getting here uh, 1.65 million parameter and we are using two convolution operation and if i do model dot summary then here we are getting 5 million almost 5.7 million parameter okay we are using two convolution operation then max pooling then again two convolution operation then again max pooling and then we are applying this flattening operation we have uh, added two layers one 512 neurons and another one is with 256 neurons and then we are dropping some neurons and then we have added this output layer now let's train this model again and here i am using 32 epochs okay let's use 32 epochs i have tested this model with different values and i am getting good result on this so if you want to solve this type of problem then you have to tune your model you have to think uh, what steps we can do shall i add one two three more uh, convolution operation or shall i add one, one two three more layer so this idea you have to think about yourself but the main idea is that if your training accuracy is uh, low if your training loss is not decreasing then made your model complex so that you can make a more deeper neural network because deeper neural network is able to solve the problem of underfitting just remember this thing that if your training loss is not decreasing then make your neural network deeper and to solve the problem of validation loss that is your validation loss is not decreasing you have to choose a right convolution how much convolution operation you have to apply what max pooling you have to choose according to that you can tune your uh, validation accuracy okay so let's run this so we have successfully trained our model we are getting training accuracy of 94.79 percent and validation accuracy of which is 93.73 percent which is better than previous one let's save this model so i'm saving this model here and i am recording the history similarly which i have done in previous okay so here our uh, epoch is now it's 32 
so epoch is from, starting from 1 to 32 okay so let's do the visualization of our training accuracy so here is the visualization of training accuracy with respect to number of epoch which is good let's see now here what we are getting previously we are getting this fluctuated visualization of validation accuracy okay so now we are getting little smoother curve in which uh, the curve is almost uh, become consistent after this uh, uh, I think 85 so here if you see yeah after 90% 92 92 93 91 this trend is showing that uh, validation accuracy is uh, above 90% okay so it is 90 I think yeah it's giving that uh, accuracy is better than 90 okay so using this approach we can uh, improve our model performance initially we are getting our training accuracy as 81 percent and validation accuracy almost 92 it's fluctuating okay so what we have done here we have changed the architecture of our neural network here we have added two more uh, convolution layer here and here okay and also here we have added a dense layer and also increased the number of neuron and now the parameter total parameter in the model increased from 1.65 million to 5.74 million okay we have increased the complexity of model on and now we are getting very beautiful result here which is 94.79 percent okay this is all about improving model performance and we can also write some piece of code to evaluate our model to evaluate your model just write here cnn.evaluate just use this fun function if you don't know about this keras model evaluate if you search here keras model evaluate training and uh, model training api okay this one if you go inside and you will see this model.evaluate if you see here yeah so to evaluate model.evaluate x test and y test you have to pass here okay and you have to store this in the in the in this result and it will return you a tuple in which you have uh, validation loss and validation accuracy okay so to do that you write here cnn dot evaluate uh, your model on uh, first of all i am going to test on test training set okay to do cnn dot evaluate training set if you run this batch size here is uh, 32 so it will run 100 batches similarly you can do for that uh, cnn dot uh, evaluate uh, validation set validation set let's also do this uh, test set evaluation okay it's running so for test set evaluation what you have to do just copy this piece of code from here just do copy paste here for train here uh, just con and change it to test and here the directory i am using here if you go inside this and my drive and uh, this one this is our test directory so just copy path here and paste here this control v okay so you have also prepared here a test set and similarly you can do this cnn dot evaluate here also and uh, here you have to change this to test set for training set it will return final training loss and training accuracy of the model which you are getting after training okay and this validation set uh, if you uh, apply cnn dot evaluate on validation set then it will return you validation loss and validation accuracy so just write here training loss and training accuracy okay just write here and run this and uh, here you can write validation loss and val accuracy and for test set also you can write here test loss and test 
accuracy and right here evaluating CNN model okay so in next video I am going to make a web application using streamlit so in next video I will explain you what is streamlit and how we can use streamlit it's a very powerful tool as we are not a web developer we are a tool called streamlit using which we will make a very beautiful web application um, also I am going to uh, connect this model with that web application okay so here we are getting this training accuracy as 96.18 percent so let's see what we are getting in test set so here we are getting uh, 93.87 percent as a test accuracy okay so in next video we will talk about streamlit so that's all for this video thanks a lot for watching this video